Hello and welcome to Pocono in the 1987 NASCAR Legends. Uh, are you ready to burn some more tires? <laughs> Flatten some tires? That's what I'm good at in these cars, apparently. All clear on pit exit. We've got ready to two. blow my tires, but um, at least I feel like I'm pretty decently fast for about a couple laps. <laughs> I don't know how to save tires or anything. Once it comes to that, I guess just drive softer. But for now, it's qualifying. Don't have to worry about that. <laughs> uh, my best in practice was a 59.6. Not sure if I'll be able to back that up here, but we are sure gonna try. And I'm going real soft this first outlap because tires like to burst into flames immediately and they probably won't even be at a hundred percent by the time you get to lap one so that's why I like to take it easy for a while green flag, green flag. definitely okay. didn't, shouldn't have taken it that easy running to the line but that's okay not too concerned Stay out of that wall. Alright, maximizing my space on the track. To the tunnel turn now. Good run through there, happy with that. Don't shift here, even though it gets real close to needing it. through there pretty good One more lap. and uh, hey we're in the fives that was an all-time best nice pull for now we'll see if it lasts and we'll go ahead and try a lap two but as you can see it's already a tenth down that's how fast the tires wear so you really gotta get it done on lap one, and I feel like I did a good job there, so. I didn't mess up qualifying? Is that possible? Is that a thing you're allowed to do? Wowzers. So I hit about where I feel like I can hit. We'll see where other people are. And we'll finish lap two. And then we'll try a green flag pit stop, which we won't need during the race, but just in case. <laughs> I'm really hoping this race doesn't end up looking like Nick's race, where it was just constant cautions. Um, well, I'm kind of in a similar situation as him too. We got a single split and 12 people signed up. Um, so you would think less cars on track should be okay, but that was not the case in his video. So I'm hoping it is the case that we don't get much cautions. In this video. <laughs> so far it looks like we should be able to hang on to pole. I forgot my breaking point. That's okay, we'll just break a little harder. I feel like I got this uh, feeling pretty good. Got this down. Um, maybe it's because of all the time I spent here at Pocono recently at Arc with Arca and stuff. I kind of got used to how Pocono works a little bit, and obviously it's a much different car, but... Watch your speed. It's a little timid, but we'll have war more worn tires whenever we actually do have to come in, if we do, so... Alright, we'll park it, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get started here soon. We're waiting on the 8. The 8 had That's pretty good practice times, if I remember correctly. Decently enough. But, uh, we were down six there, it looks like. So we got the pole, uh, only about two-tenths up, which 
isn't really that much with these long straightaways because it's all about just hitting the corner right and uh, you know it multiplies it uh, magnifies how much it matters your run off of the corners because of how long the straightaways are so you really got to focus on getting a good run off that's kind of a big thing here so I don't know we'll, we'll see how this goes one to go. Next like I said, I just hope we get some green flag drive. laps. Road is closed right now. Session last up. I'm going to try to take it somewhat easy, I guess, but... Hmm. <clears throat> Two sets of tires. 45 laps. Interesting. So I might have to be a little bit conservative with the tire usage, being that there's only two and they matter so much. I really got to remember not to try to hit these qualifying laps during the race. Such a bad habit. Good luck, y'all. We've got good luck coming our way. and have a good run. Forty-five laps, pole position. We'll see what gear we need to be starting in. I'm not quite sure yet. Of course, my first attempt at this this week, as is most of my races, um, unless I say otherwise. I like did a practice race or did a race for fun, which is usually the same thing. Hmm. Looks like the first gear start. I think that's enough of a uh, launch. That that might be a good idea. But we'll put it in second, so it's not revving up a whole bunch, and maybe they won't even expect the first gear start. If I don't run around in first gear the whole time, burning off fuel too which we probably won't need. You know how it goes. Yellow flags and whatnot. I think I'm just gonna have to try to maintain unless the guys behind me are killing their tires. Man, I don't know. I just I feel like if I try, I'm still gonna burn off my tires anyway and then just be slow at the same time. Maybe I just have to focus on being on my, on my right rear and being on the edge of it. I don't know, man. I think I might just go with a little bit of consideration not to kill the tires and then later in the race when I have to start worrying about doing a long run and not reaching 0% then I'll really start thinking about how I'm using the tires. I think that's probably how I'm going to go about it. But coming around the final corner, turn 3 at Pocono. Well, hopefully get a good launch. About to go green. Stay focused. Okay, place car is in. Green flag. Green flag. Hey, I got a little bit of distance there. Kind of hard to do here. Kind of tricky, deciding how hard to go into the corner on lap one, because you're not at full speed. Just gotta not think about the guys behind me, and just hit my marks. Ryan certainly knows what he's doing. Maybe 
maybe he'll be patient and just uh, ride behind us. It looks like that might be what he's doing. Hmm. Homer drove it. I think I must have had more speed because of the draft behind me. Car inside. Clear inside. Uh, I said I was not going to worry about him behind me, but then I started worrying about behind me. What did I do that for? It's my mark there. Yeah, I feel like trying to take the corners differently is just hurting me. It feels like if I don't go my normal speed, I'm just on the right front more, and it's making me miss my marks, dude. The time was one minute, and the guy behind has just done a one minute. Scared the guy behind me a little bit. <laughs> scared me a little bit, but we had it. We had it under control. We know what we're doing. I see. I'm looking at the guy behind. I'm not hitting my brakes enough through the tunnel turn. I need to stop looking out my mirror. He's being very patient with me, which I really appreciate. But I'm being a big mess right now. There's the yellow flag of lore. And it didn't take... We got a couple laps in there. It wasn't too immediate. Alright, don't burn the tires off during pace laps. Nine gallons, you say. Probably not fully calibrated yet, but... Go ahead and save some fuel in case we get a bunch of yellows or something, and then we don't have to worry about it. If it goes green to the end, though, no. Oh, no. Yeah, it's tricky. Yeah, you're not making it to the end here, so no no reason for me to pit, I don't think. Even if the whole field behind me pits, then at least we'll have an extra set. The pit road is now open. Four course yellow, pits are open. Alright, doesn't look like anyone's going for it, unless maybe a couple guys in the back, maybe they have damage or something. Can I drink a water? Pardon me. So, kind of a sloppy first little run there for me, I just was not hitting my marks. Overdriving a little bit, and then not getting on my brakes enough. Because subconsciously I'm thinking about the, about the guy behind me, and worried he's gonna run in the back of me but I just gotta not do that I keep telling myself that but I won't listen <laughs> so wheel back on the desk a little bit sliding off as it typically does man I sure wouldn't mind if the pace laps here were, excuse me if the pace laps here were 90 miles an hour or something <laughs> such a big track not much to look at, really, either. You got trees. You got tunnel turn to look at, I guess. Oh yeah, this is legacy Pocono, too, so they don't have, like, catch fence along the trees, either. So, uh... Casey Kane can fly up and hit them now. Still. 
I got him over here, though. At least we're coming one to green already. I say already, even though I'm bored. <laughs> Two point six gallons. Yeah, I, I feel like we almost can make it, but I just I don't know how calibrated the fuels being right now. Might consider coming in to pit if we get a uh, another caution. That isn't completely immediate. <laughs> maybe if we get a couple laps, maybe I'll come in. One left to green. Okay, Colton, get ready. Race oh yeah, single file. I like it. Always <laughs> forget that, and then I'm pleasantly surprised. Single file is so nice. I'll look at the advertisements. We had some Pepsi over there. I never have uh, enjoyed carbonated drinks. Don't know why. I don't want pop rocks in my mouth whenever I'm drinking fluids, I guess. <laughs> Obviously, that's a not very popular opinion. <laughs> but it's not like I'm saying, Ooh, don't drink soda. You're disgusting. I just never have liked it. I don't know. Can't explain it. Not even like sparkling water. Or anything like that. I don't know. It li it sure lives a limit a lot of my choices because so many things are carbonated. So I pretty much drink tea, water, and fruit juices. All the ones that aren't bubbly. <laughs> Now that uh, pacing's gonna be over, I can finally not have to talk about stupid nonsense. Get ready, going green. Post car is off. Time green, to green, do green, your let's go. Green, green, green. I was a little bit worried about tire spin there, because I got a tiny bit originally. That was a little bit more delicate, but... I think this guy behind me is better than me. He's just being patient. I think he's, he's doing a better job. Real nervous back there, and it's probably what he wants. <sighs> Quite a bunch we have here. Make sure I don't have them muted. I assume he's under control back there and he's not going to hit me, but just thinking about it, you know? Losing grip, he's going to pass me. He, he should pass me at this point. I don't know why he's not. I'm so slow. Maybe it's all in my head. Maybe he's struggling just as hard as I am. But it really feels like he's just all over me.
Definitely going to come in and pit if we get another caution now. I cannot get the tunnel to turn right anymore. Here he goes. I said kind of just glad he's doing that. Clear inside. All right, so we will be patient with him, just like he was with us. The next car's the leader. Just right behind him for a while. He's definitely doing a better job of saving tires, too. My Q speed is not translating much to race speed. Seems like a familiar trend. You'd think I would learn something once in a while. Oh, he messed up the tunnel turn this time. He got on the apron a little bit. I shall wait. Because he was patient with me and yellow flag. We're coming in this time. Indeed we are. Yeah, just as I was thinking, the uh Fuel wasn't calibrated fully yet. So now it's saying we need more fuel. I'm catching the two car. Sheesh. Give me a break. Baiting on two or four tires. It's so counterintuitive all the time to take two, but I swear it almost always just makes you faster in these cars. We have track position already, so we don't need to. I'm taking four. We don't need track position, so. We're just going to take all four. If a couple people get ahead, that's fine. It seems like we're able to keep away from them just fine. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. We'll see what the two's thinking. She's going to decide to come in. I haven't really done that many laps, so like I said, I really don't want to get caught out if uh, we're going green. The leader is pitting now. Okay. And speed limit is 60 miles per hour. Okay, we'll fill you to the end. Pit box team, 10. Five, Need to overshoot my box. Three, two, one. Right here. Oh my god, I did it. 76.85. Yeah, hardly any green lamps, and yet, that's what our tires are looking like. They melt off the car in this series. And like some two tire calls. You only have one tire set remaining. They want you in single file. Catch up four car. But we're uh, we didn't fall too far back. That was kind of the idea. It's fine. You got loads. Loads of fuel. It says. Hopefully that will remain true. Not burning off my tires during pace laps. So we're gonna ease it through here. I'm interested to see where we are based on people that didn't pit. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and six. 
We are sixth place. So we got two guys ahead and took two tires. And then we have four, or rather, yes, three other people that did not pit at all, except for that guy who changed his mind. Interesting. Just looking at my relative to see who that was, and I almost ran in the back of them because they had a checkup for some reason. Not trying to get a launch here, so I might do second gear start. Second gear might be better anyway. Seems pretty equal with first gear to me. Potentially. How many people stayed out there? Uh, three. Oh no, I'm sorry, three. Thank you. Yeah, you get tricked because uh, one guy came in the pits. <laughs> so we should uh, rocket past those guys. Hopefully they know that and don't have to do anything dumb. I'm sure they do, I hope. And uh, they know that the, making this move is not going to keep them track position, but it is going to keep them a set of tires. So that's the reason you make that move right now. It was about time for me, I think. I only got one set left. So I'm going to have to be careful about when to use those. But hopefully, we don't have to make any too tough decisions. We're way far back for some reason. Can we catch up, please? Number five? Got an accordion here, I hope. Post car is actually time to do your job. Green flag, green flag. Just gonna have to be somewhat patient. We're gonna go around these uh, no tire guys on the outside. Inside. Clear inside. Where is he going? Where is he going? He's sliding all the way up the track down there. Oh boy. This is a problem. He's going to be really slow through the tunnel turn. So be patient. Don't want to get wrecked by the guy. Outside. Keep low. Outside is clear. Look pretty bad there. It's okay. If anything, it's helping me save tires against all of my attempts. Drives it. Come down here. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Give him plenty more room than he would ever even need. Clear outside. Gotta take this. Inside. Turn the guy ahead. Clear. Car outside. Clear high. Five thinks he's going. Just pinching off the exit of the corner for some reason. Clear. Not want to be back here in the, in the bee's nest, but beehive. That's where we are.
Alright. So much. Get the nose on him. Still there, hold your line. Stay low. Here we keep it down here. Stay low. Outside is clear. Uh, I want to block it off, but he's not backing. He's backing. <laughs> Sliding a little bit, it's fine. Sorry, bud. Uh oh, something happened back there apparently. Modulate the throttle a little bit there. I was trying to get sideways. Man, it really is just me having trouble when there's people like right behind me. It's all in my head. I'm missing the corners and overdriving them because of it. Because you got to get on the brakes pretty hard here. Want to make, make the corner the best you can. I'm always afraid to do it when there are people behind me. That lap was at one zero zero point two seconds. Catching the leader, just a little bit. He's probably just maintaining now. I have to take that. Car outside. Still there. Outside is clear. Bit too much of a run for me to ignore. Right now. Draft up there, interesting. Inside, really hurt my corner. Better turn three, though, because the last time we were here, it was passing someone. The lap time was at one zero zero point six seconds. I get the angle I wanted there, but it should be okay.
Again, not too happy with how I took that corner. Hmm. Getting sideways, but we're okay. Just killed our run a little bit. Man, I felt it's funny. I, in practice, I feel like I can just okay, over and over again do the lap just fine. I'm getting here and I'm just messing it up every lap. Man, dang tunnel turn. Still there. Clear inside. I'll let that guy by then. Wheel on the desk. Patient with him. Really patient with him. I didn't even want to pass in there. He just had a horrible turn three. I gotta just stop making mistakes. That's just the simple fact. So those two tires are working just fine up there. See if it evens out or not. Loose. Really loose. Shoot, man. Prefer that over tight, but that was really trying to kill me. Felt like I was on a dirt track for there a second there. Side curb again. Because it's the race and not practice. Okay, just drifted on exit. I'm a mess. I don't know why I can't drive when it's time to race. Oh boy.
Oh, leader having a mistake? It looks like he lost some time. Looks like he's just managing his lead. Always a possibility when someone's got a big lead like that. They're just trying to maintain long-term speed. Caught my eye, though. Oh, well, look what happens when you don't overdrive it. Incredible. I, this is the first time this whole race I felt like I've been in the rhythm. Oh, uh, yeah, the rhythm, the rhythm of the night. Gonna shift into second. That's quite the rhythm you've got there. <sighs> and it's all caught on filling for all the embarrassment. Not a good turn one. Not a good turn two. Jeez. Can we get the trifecta? Nah, oh, too bad. We actually hit turn three kind of decent that time. No three for three for bad corners. That was a 101.0. You'll need to take care of the tires. Uh oh. Here we go again. I'm not going to make it to the end, am I? Car inside. Keep high. You're up top, three wide. Right side, two wide. Clear inside. God, stupid phone. Sorry. Good time to do that, too, three wide. Yeah, let's just get a phone call three wide. Shoot, I have to take this. Outside. P4. Still there. Not the phone call. <laughs> there. Go low. Run. Clear. Car's not turning anymore. I'm debating just pitting now because I'm not going to make it on these tires. God. It's not tiny anymore. Just whatever, man. Car outside. Clear outside. Watch your speed limit in the pits. We've got loads of fuel. Two tires. Pit box team. Ten. Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. I never learn. I never learn. We're done. Get going. Right clear. There are no more right side tires to put on. Okay. 
Well, I highly doubt I'm going to be the only person who couldn't make it to the end. I just uh, am not putting in false hope that I can. I know how it goes. You reach for lap 43 and then you uh, blow a tire. I'm good. No need to play that whole song and dance again. When they're done it. Well, we're just going to see how this uh, ends up. Why did I shift? I'm a mess. This whole race. Big mess. On the lead lap, though, if they crash, we'll get back to uh, the point, I guess. Albeit with older tires. Get the wall. Make sure you destroy the car for the inverters. On the plus side, I am driving alone now. So my excuse can be gone and I can hit the wall despite no one being around me. Fastest lap. You've just done a so we're in ninth place. Doing NASCAR things. Should be able to catch and pass this six before it's over, even with our pit stop. Gaining on this car, the gap is 3.8 seconds. So, the idea was I wasn't going to make it to the end, so I might as well, if I'm going to have to make a pit stop, maximize the timing of it and have good tires for a while. So caution goes out, uh, comes out, we'll get all the track position back and be first, because we didn't go lap down. Lap time Though we would probably be run over, the who knows, the two tire strategy seems to work just fine and the tires are just weird on in this series anyway on this car so catch it past the six here hopefully you had an easy time to do it Shifted again. Losing my mind. Keep it down low. He almost killed me. Jesus. Came down the track. Eighth place. I got another person in the pit. And I had a feeling I wouldn't be the only one, but I'm sure the leader and such, they're probably not going to have any trouble at all. Keeping the tires on it. Who knows though, maybe, maybe it'll work out. You pull it away. The gap behind is now 1.9 seconds. Looks like we should be able to catch the 11 with ease. Ah, we got another taker. I knew I wasn't going to be the only one who had to pit. Got 
but with how much distance we have in front of us, that might be the only way we're going to get any more spots. Since they also have to pit. And you know, at least one of them has been thinking about this all along and saving the tires like smart people would. <laughs> and, uh,. How are you going to get rewarded? Let's hear it for uh, lap 36. Anyone pitting on lap 36? It's like no takers this lap. Still might get a top five though. Apparently I am eager to overdrive corners. And get loose on exit. The gap behind has increased to 5.7. Hmm. Well, we are catching fifth place pretty quick. I'm not sure how much a lap, but it is uh, falling pretty good. Or it's nice and loose. I like that. We'll check here. 9.6 at the moment. We'll see what that looks like by the time we're around one more time. Gotta remember too, if Akasha does come out real late, no green light checkered, so. Could also be an issue. So, last lap we were 9.5 away, and this lap we are 8.4, so we're gaining about a second a lap. That would not be enough, looks like. So we do, okay, indeed, have to count on some pitting. Or making mistakes and such, but we'll see. Or blowing tires. I could just decide to stay out and then... Blow a tire, end up in the wall. Yeah, gain about a second a lap, that's not enough. V6. Come on, let's hear some pitting. Let's hear it for lap 40. Pitting in lap 40. It's like calling out bingo numbers. We have a P40. Pit 40. And see if anyone has it on the Ringo card. But we're going to be coming to five to go. So I'm running out of time for free spots because I went and blew my tires again. So I never learn. Well, I mean, I guess I technically didn't blow my tires, but hey, we got a 40! 
Someone had 40 on their bingo card. Looky there. That looks like we've got a top five back. And it wasn't the guy that we were catching either. So you never know, maybe they uh, fall off more and we have a chance to catch up. Of course, we're falling off too, so it's not like we're not going to be having slower lap times as well. Hey, four to go. Up five required. Somehow hit the corner well for once there, I don't know. Apparently I've been doing it wrong for many laps. I can see him up there. Ooh, we got a chance. He might have blown a tire. He looks real off pace. So, three laps to go, 4.4 to catch him. Okay, Colton, you're reeling. I'm going to try, I could get close. I gotta let the car roll more. I'm kind of realizing that. Seems to help my mid corner speed if I let it roll more. I don't think we're catching this guy. I think he just had a bad lap or two. Two laps left. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Ha 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 Oh boy. Yeah, I definitely wasn't gonna make it. I barely made it after I changed my tires. Ah, uh, such a mess. But we don't have to worry about hitting zero in one lap, so. Just keep going. Ooh. White flag, one more to go. You've just done a one zero zero point seven seconds. Five laps of fuel. Even the fuel got kind of close. Eh, not really. I didn't put any fuel in when I pit, so. Could have been right. Thank you. Good race. Yeah, I was totally catching, but, uh, we got a lot of there. <laughs> yeah, I was. 15 laps, so I was just trying to be easy on that right rear view. Yeah. 
Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how my time is because I really pushed hard to get you. Get you. Yeah. All right, that's it. Top five. Never mind. Good race. Good win. That was fun. I really love the freaking NASCAR legends at Falcono. You actually have to drive these cars, which is actually kind of fun. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't get a whole bunch of yellows. Well, this track is actually more like a road course than an oval. I wonder why I pissed my car and so well. Yeah, let's park it. Oh, my shoulder started flaring up again. Oof. At least it's after I'm done. All right. Tires weren't even bad. On the left sides, maybe. Not the end run there. It wasn't so bad. So uh, I'm going to lose eye rating on this one, but we got ourselves a top five. So it is what it is. Didn't have any incidents. Let's see uh, what happened. Mm -hmm. huh. All right. Got some wall hits on lap one. Emphasis on the plurality. Uh oh, and a spin. Couldn't gather it up. That uh, had us under caution. We got a wall hit here. All right, probably gonna get a handful of those. Oh, the eight's going around. Oh, and mystery number. He's not able to dodge them. Their car number is the same as their background, so you can't see it. Oh wait, it's a four. Can barely see it. Oh, he, sh he sure recovered from that, though. Wall hit and then can't gather it up, it looks like. Wall helped him straighten it out, though. Just a bit of safer berry there. Tin's looping it again. Oh my gosh. And land. Figured it out eventually. Never mind. Wow, they're struggling real hard. I'm just doing tricks. Fifth place, hitting the wall. Maybe looking in the mirror. Right, because the seven's right on him. And hits him. That's probably why he's looking at his mirror. Alright. Here's me blowing my tires. Well, hits. That was right behind us. He made it through there faster than me, despite hitting the wall. Right, because I had to lift off. Drifting through turn two. The tires hitting critical points. Guys are really just trying to save, I think. Or have already blown tires. Leader hitting 50, presumably. These are all guys just hitting their tire marks. 
And I don't know if we're going to see uh, much else by the end of this thing. So we obviously didn't have any more cautions. Now he gets on the wall here, or... Nope, just tires. There's me hitting tires again after pitting. I think it's all just going to be tires until the end. To be honest, I don't think we're going to see anything else. Me. This might be a wall. No, not quite. There it is. And uh, that's after the race. So that'll do it. All right. As predicted, I put myself into a hole because of tires again, <laughs> but I guess we still technically got a top five. Um, I don't know. Uh, I guess I should have been taking it easy for longer. I, I had assumed at the start of the run that eventually caused me to need to take tires that we were going to get more cautions, and that's why I did start saving immediately. So, I don't know. I just got to back up the corners, I guess. Stop doing Q-laps. <laughs> That's the story behind that, as it is every time I enter the Legends. But still, I guess top five is what it is. We'll only lose a couple I rating. Probably a, a dozen, maybe. A little more, depending on where these other guys are at. But uh, that'll do it. So he had to make a green flag pit stop that pretty much... Only half the field had to take, but still get a top five. I guess that's not so bad. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.